What up? Good day, good day, good day, good day, good day. Y'all hope y'all can see me out there. Y'all can see me? Yeah. The lights is... It's kind of it's still dark outside. You know what I'm saying? But good day anyway. You heard? Yo. <sighs> Zip with the drip. Zip with no drip. Should I say? Correction. Zip with no drip. <laughs> Yo, you know, I'm here. It's dark outside because I got to find time to start coming to you guys. So I think I'm a, uh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a coin this. I'm a own this. This is going to be one of my new things I do. Talk to you guys when everybody's quiet and everybody's listening. You know, I don't need all the nonsense when I'm speaking to you. I don't care when people don't respond to me. I don't, Hassan, I don't care when you don't respond to me, bro, because I know you listening. I told you when I represent people about certain things that I want to talk to them about, I don't want them to respond. I don't want you to say nothing back. Shut up when I talk. That's how I like people to do. Don't ever respond, because that'll make me upset. If, if somebody respond, that'll irritate me. Now you, now you got me going crazy. I don't like that. Just shut up. When I say something to anybody, just shut up. Don't ever respond. Just shut up. That's Pat talking. He always talking, doing his thing. That's, that's, it's accepted like that. All right? Good. Now, zip with the drip. Correction again. No drip. <laughs> Yo, I came to explain your life to you. To tell you. See, the thing with me when it's all over, when I finish with you, you're going to like not like me. I don't like that nigga. He be, he be telling the truth. And then you're going to be like, yo, but I like that nigga. Because he be telling the truth. So the same things that make you not like me is going to make you like me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now, uh, zip with the drill. I want to explain to you what happened. Because nobody's going to explain it to you. Nobody's going to take the time out to explain to you what exactly happened with you. See what I'm saying? And I know people, I would love for somebody to sit down and explain things for me. Like if they could, if they got sight beyond sight, the way I have sight beyond sight. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you what happened to you, brother. I'm going to tell you why you're, you're on the internet looking crazy, talking about you popping. I'm going to talk to you about everything, bro. I'm going to keep it real with you. Because you got some people that's probably next to you smoke weed and all that. They ain't going to tell you, man. They're going to think it in their mind and then go home laughing and chuckling. I'm telling you what's going on with you. You almost did it. You almost did it, bro. I'm the type of guy. I'm the type of guy that come around after you miss your bus. And I look down the block and see the bus is way down there. And then I'll come out and say, yo, you know what happened? If Woody would have listened to me. This would have never had happened. <laughs> but I'm going to tell y'all what's going on. I'm getting ready to roll up some tobacco. No weed. No marijuana. Yeah, I'm taking a break. Taking a break. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I'm twisting up. No weed. This is not marijuana. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so anyway, this is what happened to you, Zip. You almost made it. I want to tell you something. I'm trying to take my time because I want to get everything out, and I want you to really understand what I'm trying to tell you, what happened to you. All right, people been on YouTube. You see everybody been on YouTube way before you came around. You just got turned on to everything, people, you know, filling you in on what's going on, right? Good. What I'm trying to say is the people that's been on YouTube and stuff like that, we can see things. We can see things coming. We can see things. It's like you being on the top of the hill and you got a bird's eye view. You can see the things that's coming. You know how it's coming. Like, oh, yeah, that one and that one. Oh, yeah, that and that. You, you understand what I'm saying, right? All right, good. So the people that was on YouTube seeing you coming. This is what I'm trying to tell you. The people that was on YouTube seeing you coming. Long distance they seen you coming, brother. Long distance they seen you coming. All right? The uh 
See, what they do, they need more popularity. They need more things to be popping. They need to be connected to something that's continuously or something. Even if you're lit, you still at some point need to be connected to something that's starting to be lit. Even if you're lit, you after a while, you're going to need to be, you got to connect yourself to something that's getting ready to be lit. You understand what I'm trying to say? And that was you. That was you. You was that. That, 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 that was you. All right, so uh, now you had the gully TVs and all these funny guys. They come out acting like they help you. So what happens is the people, they act like they help you on YouTube to connect to the next thing that's getting ready to be lit. You understand? You follow me? Okay, good. So all the people that helped you didn't really help you. They didn't really want to help you. They had no love for you, none of that extra stuff. You wasn't special, nothing. It was just trying to connect themselves to something that was about to be popping. Right. Now, it can work. Or it could not work. In your case, it did not work. Because you can connect yourself to something, right? And cause it to fail because you connected yourself to it. So now that thing that was going to take off like a rocket didn't take off. You can, They connected, they bad. You connect your bad weight and bad stuff to and your bad name and your bad, your bad history to something. And it can make it fail. On the other hand, you not knowing what's going on. You new to the world. You still knowing you need help. So it's like, wow, somebody's going to throw me an anchor. You take the first anchor that's shown to you. All right? You know what it is. I call it an anchor because it holds you down. You looking at it like a life jacket. Now, listen. So you're not knowing what's going on. But these people, like I said, they've been on YouTube from before. We see things coming like, yeah, he's about to pop. It looks like it's about to be good for them. Let me jump over there and act like I'm helping them so I can get responsibility for helping them. Now I can run around. See how Haas is running around right now? Like I helped you. I'm the one who did this for you. I'm the one who did that for you. I'm the one who gave you light. I'm the one. You see what you're getting right now? This is called that. This is that. Okay? You understand? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get in the nitty gritty with you. Okay? This is the new deal. The classic way. Now watch. You're going to see other YouTubers biting on me. Uh, doing what I do. You see it. You see You see how it is. It's a lot of everybody's still sleeping. Okay? If I, I'm a busy man. I got to find time to talk to you guys. Okay? Real busy in real life. Another thing. Real quick. Don't get on YouTube showing money if you get paid Thursdays and Fridays. You're not like me. Okay, if I show money or something on YouTube, it's because I got it just now. Stop. Stop. You guys are crazy out here. Now, let me get back to what I'm talking about. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm the best here. I'm the, I'm the king of all of you. The whole dirty section, the clean section, every section. Me. Good. Now, uh, yeah, that's how I feel, doctor. Really feel a lot of conviction with it. Now listen, uh, let me tell you something. This is what they do. You fell for the banana in the tailpipe in the Eddie Murphy movie. <laughs> you fell for the Eddie Murphy banana in the tailpipe movie. <laughs> they destroyed you. You was on your way. They destroyed you. They connected themselves to you. To, so now he could say they helped you. Same with Gully TV. Same thing. Ain't nobody love nobody out here. Did you they love you? All right, listen. So so now this is what happened. You fell for that. You was on your way. You had the little raps. Everything was looking good. Ba ba ba. You took the help because you know you needed it, which and you should have waited. But you took the help. So now you connected. You could you're forever connected to Hassan Campbell. You're forever connected to the gully TV guy who helped you. Or whatever said, yeah, when Zip first started, I did the thing, put the video out and all this. Yeah, yeah, you're getting it now. And now that you understand what's going on, you regret the... I, when I told you on, a, on the last video that you went the wrong way, this is what I meant. You crashed. You, 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 you had... Yo, I got so much to say to you on how you messed it up. Yeah, so much to say to you on how you messed it up, buddy. You had industry people... Starting to come out and say your name. You dis... Had, you had Mano say your name. Shout out to Mano. You had Mano say your name. 
I remember being at the podcast over there, at the kitchen thing at his podcast. Me and Ben was over there. Yeah, whoa. Shout out to Mayno. Um, yeah. But let me tell you something. That's what happened to you. So Mayno said your name showed you love. But then you, I could have said, I'm not mistaken, you was dissing Jim Jones. You can't do that trying to get in the industry because I'm... I made mistakes coming up too. I keep it being. I made mistakes too. I watched you make all the mistakes. I said he's finished. He don't understand. He's finished. All right, let me finish. You had uh, Mayno shouted you out. See, I'm doing all this because you're on the internet the other day talking about your popping, talking about your popping, you're riding, you 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 jocking and you're riding weed guys now. You 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 you're reduced to to, to talking about uh, popular weed guys. You're finished out here, buddy. You finished, you're gonna be on the couch forever. Okay? That's what I'm gonna tell you. So I'm doing all this to tell you what happened to yourself. Right? Nobody did this did this for me. If somebody could do it for me, do it for me too. Okay? I'm doing it for you, tell you what happened. Now, yeah, Maino shout you out, but then if I'm not mistaken, you this Jim Jones. You can't do that. That's Maino's big homie or his homie or whatever you want to call it. Right. Now, uh, so you messed up over there. You had Tax Stone messing with you. You did the interview it, with the podcast. It, it was on your way. Everything was going. You, you limed up with the wrong people, and now you're finished out here. They started discrediting you, talk dirty about you, disrespect you. You're finished. You got all the regular all the people looking at you different. And you just you just finished, bro. You was on your way. I was like, yo, he gone. Yo, we used to be in the house in the crib. Bim used to play your music. Ben was playing your music, bro. Right. You got to be careful what you like out here. You got to be careful what you like. You got to know which to like. No, like that. Don't like that. You got to know what you're liking out here. It can hurt you. Right? Ben, we in the, in the crib. Ben playing your music, buddy. Liking you. We already know what happened with that. You screwed that. You messed that up. You messed that up horribly. Okay? But, uh, yeah. You know, my brain got so much stuff going on in it. I'm trying to stay with me, stay with me, stay with me. So that's what happened. I don't want to jump on different topics. Cause I got other topics in my mind that I really want to address. That I really want to talk about. But I'm not. I'm a nice guy. So this is what happened. Yeah, watch what you like, though. <laughs> right? Yeah. But uh what I'm telling you is you messed it up. You had Bim, then you did the the, the the Bimmy thing, you messed that up, you went the wrong way. I told you you crashed, bro. Okay? Now you didn't listen. You had an interview with Tax Stone. Everybody was coming out. See what I'm saying? To help you. To help you. You was on your way. If you would have went the right way. Right now, you wouldn't be on that couch right now. You would, I my word, you wouldn't be on that couch right now. You'd be up, jewelry, uh, big money. Yo, look, bro, this is the part, this is one of the things that really bugging me out about you, bro. You, you was on the couch, you said. <laughs> he said, yo, I'll be all right. I got a knot. No, he didn't say that. <laughs> no, you didn't say that. I got a knot, bro. I haven't heard that since 1996. <laughs> a knot? You got a knot? <laughs> bro, anybody that heard you say that, you just destroying yourself. You destroying yourself at a fast rate. I never seen nobody... With that has the potential in the beginning and then just went on a downhill spiral the way you did, bro. I've never witnessed it, bro. You was a rocket ready to take off. It said, shh, show the fire at the bottom and then said, shh, shh. I never see that in my life, bro. You're the first one to do it. Okay. You ain't got no records with nobody. Don't talk about me, man. I've been all overseas with music, doing stuff. Tim Westwoods, 
record, name on the record, albums with rap legends, everything. Don't say nothing about me in this hip hop thing. And you know you ain't did nothing near it compared that compare, right? Yeah. Now, ever, now, yeah, been playing your music, digging me in, in the crib, he's going like this, yo, fire. I'm on the sideline like, fuck that nigga. I don't know that nigga. Who is that nigga? Not fuck him like that. I just didn't know you. Fuck that nigga. I'm the deal. Be careful what you like out here. Huh? So now, uh, you had a chance, buddy. You started dissing all the rap. You're talking crazy about the artists. You just, you, 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 you. bro, what I'm trying to tell you is, you was going to be a superstar, bro, if you'd have went the right way. You made, you let Hassan, he got the last laugh on you, bro. You let Hassan and them guys make you a YouTuber. <laughs> you let Hassan and them make you a YouTuber. And then you you you, you should have waited before you, 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 you went against Hassan. Because you ain't you ain't up enough yet. Your power ain't up, bro. Your, your, your cell phone wasn't charged all the way, bro. You had 10% charge on your cell phone to start acting crazy. You crazy, bro. You had 10% power on your cell phone and started jumping around. You're crazy. Anybody who's looking at this video is going to say, yo, this is the new YouTuber king. He's talking that talk. He talking that talk. Nah, he talking that talk, he talking that talk, he talking that talk, it's like a hit record. Nah, he talking that talk. Okay? This is what happened, bro. You was on your way, you lost it. You was on your way. They turned you to a YouTuber. Now you finished. You should have waited. You started, you're going against Hassan Campbell because your ego. Yeah. You at the wild people saying, yo, man, yo, yo, this nigga go sign you? This nigga. You know everything they say about Hassan. Yeah, that nigga, you couldn't be, you couldn't wear that real gangster hat you wanted to wear connected to Hassan Campbell the way you wanted. So you had to go against him to show the gangsters this is what it is. Not nah, and that right there was your downfall. That was one of your biggest mistakes in your whole life. Going against the hand that fed you. You bit the hand that fed you. You bit the hand that looked y'all. But see, the first thing is not really about biting the hand that fed you. You shouldn't have took the help in the, in the beginning because that was the wrong way to go. See, this is what I'm trying to tell you. You shouldn't even have took the help because you was already lit. But again, let me go back. This is what the YouTubers do. We see sight beyond sight. We see what's coming. You was all, they know you was already going. You was already going. You was good. I'm saying that. Pac-Man, Pac is saying that. Classic is saying that. You was already good. So you shouldn't have even accepted the help. You was already going. You was going to the superstar lane, not the YouTube lane. Now you're sitting on a dirty couch doing videos every day trying to convince the people of something that you're not. And you're not ever going to be now. Yeah, you got tricked. You got tricked out your spot that you was going to be in. See, it's not only about being tricked out the spot that you're in. You could get tricked out the spot that you're about to be in. Woo! Woo! The new YouTuber king. The new YouTube king. Classic. Yeah, I'm here, baby. Like, comment, subscribe. This is what it is. This is what it is when you want to get it live. Okay, so you got people that can mess you up in that way. I'm going to talk to y'all. I'm going to talk to everybody now. Now you're going to get to learn me. Okay, like, comment, and subscribe. Get the subscribes up. Like, comment, comment, comment. Like, like, like. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Right. See? So that's what happened. They messed you up. They, they messed you up. It was all pre-planned. They planned to make you fail by making you believe they was helping you. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. And you fell for it because you needed the help. Not knowing you was already going. You was already going. Now nothing can help you. You could talk about whatever because you came in on a on a big big stage. So now any other stage you on, that stage you on now, it looks extra small.
That's what I'm trying to tell you. I don't know if you understand that, but I'm talking to you like a homie right now. All right? So you messed up. Now you got in the middle of arguing back and forth with Hassan Campbell and all these YouTubers dissing me and all this stuff, dissing Bimmy, dissing rappers. How you gonna go somewhere where you where, where, where you dissing people? How you how you wanna be somewhere you dissing people? How you wanna be in an area in a place where you where you where, where you gonna go to the to the party and just diss everybody at the party? No, you're not invited then. Get out. You understand? It's real simple. Are you gonna diss everybody at the party? No, we don't want you at the party. We can do without you at the party. Bye. When you understand that, you're going to understand what happened. When you understand that, you see, you're going to be real mad at Hassan Campbell and the little, and Gully TV and all that in a little while. You're going to be real upset with him. Because you're going to real, you're going to start to realize that the help wasn't help, it was to hurt. The help wasn't help, it was to hurt you. Right? You got to be smart. Mayday. Better know when to say Mayday. That's first of all. You got tricked out your spot, Zip. That's another form of being tricked out your spot. You got tricked on the couch. See? So this is the deal. I'm keeping it real with you right now, bro. I'm keeping it all the way real. No, none of that. I'm keeping it real to tell you what happened to you. So when you get in, because the only reason why I'm doing this video right now, because you was on the, on the couch the other day talking about you popping. In your brain, you think you're popping. Because in your mind, you're comparing from where you was to where you are in the YouTube world and talking and get little comments, 20,000, 16,000 views. You got caught up in this view system. You don't even care about the money no more. So you got caught up in these views. You Even when you diss people, you saying, well, you got 200 views on your 300 views, 200 views for, who know, bro, get out of there. Save yourself, man. Get out of that frame of mind. Views, views, bro. You got some rich people that laugh you out the out the goddamn out the house off the couch, bro. They laugh you off the couch. You talk that view shit, man. Laugh you off the couch. Don't worry about Hassan Campbell or somebody else getting a little check from YouTube when they got a half a million subscribers. I got something for Hassan too in this video when they got a half a million subscribers like that. First of all, you went away too fast. You went away too fast and diss Hassan too fast. So now y'all beefing on the internet and you ain't even got half his subscribers. You talking about you popping? Popping where? Where you popping at, bro? You must have been gone too long because you saying knots. You still talking about knots and you popping and, and you're not when you're not. Yo, bro, you, 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 you're delusional at this point, bro. You're delusional, boy. You can say, act like you just, you, yeah, you talk all that smart uh, slang and all that, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, listen to this, I know you hear this, you, you ain't get half of the subscribers that Hassan got, you ain't even get half of the half of the subscribers, matter of fact, he got 470 or something, 470 something subscribers, you ain't even got the 70, you don't even have the 70, you popping where, man, where you popping, Guys, is crazy, man. I swear. I mean, sometimes I be bugging in my brain like this guy is crazy. He thinks he's popping, popping. You know what I mean? The popping, nigga. You, yo, you've been you you you've been off the radar too long. Look, listen. Let me tell you something, bro. You guys gotta wake up like immediately. You don't even have half of the seventy. You're not even. Half of the lowest part of his subscribers He's got 470. Let's just act like he had only 70. <laughs> You're not even half of that. Bro, wake up. I don't know where you, I don't know who you guys be talking to on this YouTube, man. Y'all talking to some crazy people, bro. You think you popping. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Now. You think you popping, right? I had something for Hassan too. Ooh, I hope it comes back because I want to tell you so bad. But anyway, you thought you was popping. You're not popping, bro. 
You lost one. Okay? You lost one. You lost one is what happened to you. You lost it. You had something good. And you lost it. Okay? No matter how you play it off, or what you say about how you lit and all that, it, it just don't matter. You lost one. Okay? That's what it is. So this is what happened to you. You got tricked out your spot. You're not popping. Stop saying knots like you like you're in the uh in in 1995. We don't say knots no more, bro. A knot, you all right? You got a knot. Every dingy, dirty nigga on the corner on the in front in front of the Puerto Rican store got a knot. Every one of them could pull out a knot. See, we in the new era. A knot is you're a bum. You're still a bum. In the, on that level Before like in 20 years ago You pull out a knot You the man You Guess what bro In this time You pull out a knot You're a bum Do you understand that Please don't Like comment and subscribe you Leave some comments Help me out people Leave some comments And let this guy know That yo Pac is not trying to Shit on you He's telling you some real stuff Right now is accurate. Okay? You, you, you're talking about guys that sell weed. That's why I stopped smoking weed. I do the tobacco now. You, 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 you're bigging up guys that sell weed. This is what you've been reduced to. Because if you was popping the way you would have been. Trust me. You wouldn't be talking about weed guys. You wouldn't be saying this is me and such and such the weed, the runts that sells runts. Trust me. If it went the way it's supposed to went, if you did the right thing, you would have just got cut a $2 million deal on something or whatever. You wouldn't be talking about the weed, guys. I don't care how real you try to front and say, nah, even if I had $10 million, I'd be still shouting out my niggas. Yeah, I'd still be shouting out my niggas, niggas. If I had $10 million, I'd be got No, no, you wouldn't. You'd be busy. Two million, it would change your life. You've been experiencing stuff you never experienced in your life. You would not be shouting out no weed, guys, on YouTube. So those are the big guys to you now. See, that's more proof that you've been demoted. You've been demoted and you, it, it's over. It's, you, you messed it all up. It's messed. It'll never be going the way it can. You let Hassan Campbell and everybody dimish your light by pretending to help you. But then when the beef starts, they're dimishing your light by talking crazy about you. You can't look at, look, you had people really going, yo. You had people going, bro. You had Mano come out quick, yo. Zip, shout to Zip to Drip. Yo, yo, it was lit. You're not popping no more. So when you see people in your little saying, answering you because you dissed them, that's that last time you'll hear from them saying, yo, I'm, you broke my heart because you could have been over here. That's what that is. Don't feel good about it. I see you're feeling good about that. It's like in your mind, you're like, yeah, you answered me, right? You know, guess who followed me? The weed guy. The weed guy. The weed guy follows you. He followed you, bozo, because he know you're going to get on YouTube and big him up and promote his weed. <laughs> you don't know what's going on out here. I see you don't know what's going on. You still don't know what's You still don't know how it go. You still don't know how it go. I do. I know how it go, go. I know how it go. You don't know how it go. That's the problem. You don't know how it go. You don't know how it go. Yeah. And everything I just spilt on you is going to hit you real hard when you start to analyze it and say, yo, Pac is right. I analyzed your whole life. Boop, and put it on a YouTube video in no time, in a few minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah, I had something to say about. I got a lot more. Got a lot more for you, buddy. Yeah, you messed up. 
It's a sad thing to see when you see people with potential that had they had it going and it was going, and then you see a man. And you getting this from me. This talk that I'm giving to you is like consider me the translator for the industry. Consider me the translator for the big guys in the back. Consider me that, because I'm telling you what they would tell you. I'm telling you what they would tell you. I'm keeping it real with you right now. Nobody will never tell you this, bro. Nobody will tell you this. Okay? And that's facts. They'll sit there and, and know everything will happen. To, all right, look. Let me put it like this. All the people leave it in the comments. How many of y'all clearly agree what I say happened to Zip? And you see it, and you say like, yo, that's accurate. That's exactly. If you leave, leave a comment saying, yo, you pack, you're right. Pack, you're right. So there's nothing to be mad at. I'm telling you what you did. Okay? How to fix it? You got to figure that one out by yourself. You got to figure that one out by yourself, buddy. Because... I'm not here to do all that. You wasn't a nice guy. You put my face on the uh, or YouTube and did all that. I never did that to diss you at first. I just said you crashed. Okay? And even if I did get on YouTube dissing you full-fledged, you got to expect that. You was dissing my bro. You was dissing one of my bros. So... Whatever you seen me come on YouTube and say about you, it was it was warranted. You know what I'm saying? So that's just what it is. And I still didn't. I just was telling you, you crashed. You went the wrong way. You was in the crib playing your music, bro. You you could. It's sad. It's sad, bro. You went the wrong way, man. I just want to really tell you that, and I'm I'm gonna share with you and tell you. Stop getting on the internet talking about you popping, bro. Because I'm just, I know you might not know, and the certain people, it might they might hit you with a comment like, yeah, zip, gassing you up, and all that stupid shit. I'm telling you, in the real life, and over here in the real way, you know what I'm talking about. In the game, bro, you're not popping. You're not popping. Okay? So stop saying that. Stop talking about knots and all that. Stop talking that. Yo, Hodge, you lucky I can't remember what I wanted to say to you. I wanted to say something to you real good. Real good one, too. Ooh, I want to remember. Yeah, chill with me for a little while. I'm going to remember. Mm-hmm. You played yourself, Zip. So, you're like I said earlier... Before you start putting my face on the camera talking about I bought your dick. For why did you do that to me? I don't know. What made you do that to me? And when you on your dick without saying you on my dick. No, that was me trying to be tell you something in a way without, you know, being full-fledged disrespectful, bro. That's what that was. You took it the wrong way. So now... My foot is on your neck, the way you like it. Do you like it? Tell me, do you like it? Tell me, do you like my foot on your neck? Because now my foot on your neck. You know what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? You, you, you messed up. You messed up. So that's what it is, man. I had something for highs. I wanted to tell you something, bro. I just can't remember. Soon as this video go off, I'm gonna remember. But I had something to tell you too, bro. Oh, yeah, and I and another thing, I see you uh right after right after I was talking to you. What did you do? You went back in the car and you did a short video to let me know. I got it. I caught it. I caught you talking to me without talking to me. I caught it. I caught that too. Yeah. But uh, you guys is easy, man. You guys is easy, man. I right? understand that I'm packed, right? I'll be back with more, and I'm gonna tell you more 
about yourself and how you feel because there's more in my mind that I can't really think about right now. I'm busy. I got stuff to do. But I just want to, I took the time out to talk to you about this. I got more talking to you. I got more talk to you. I talk to you. Because I want to tell you this. This is what I want to ask you a question. How do you look? My word, your word don't reach like my word, bro. My word reaches. I named you Sammy Davis Jr. Just like when Ten Toes told you what I did, the other things I did. Yeah, I did that. Okay? I named you Sammy Davis Jr. And it reached all of everybody called you Sammy. But I got a different question. Because it's not only Sammy. How do you look like Sammy Davis Jr. and Bill Cosby at the same goddamn time? That's what I want to know. That's what I need to know. How you look like Sammy Davis Jr. and Bill Cosby? Not the Huxtable Bill Cosby. The Saturday Night Live Bill Cosby. <laughs> the Saturday, Uptown Saturday Night. <laughs> I mean, flat out. Both of them in one. How you do that? Funny looking nigga. Listen, what I'm trying to tell you is that's what's going on. So I'm going to be telling you more. I got more stuff to talk to you about. And that thing I want to tell you, Haas, I remember. But you was on your way, Zip. You was on your way, boy. You was on your way. I seen it. I said, yeah, he's on the way. I said, oh, all right. You on your way? I seen it. I seen it. Gone. Next. Gone. You lost it. You missed the bus, buddy. Nobody would never tell you this. I'm going to tell it to you. Stop it. Okay? Figure out a way. I don't know what you're going to do. But all I can tell you is, it's bad. You got yourself connected and lined up with all the wrong stuff. You was on your way. You supposed to be in a new crib, talking about that new money, everything right, new music, everything right now, bro. It's a goddamn shame.